All right, guys, welcome back to part number eight of our Evo Land playthrough here live on Twitch TV. And uh, for those of you who aren't live, you're watching us here on YouTube. And um, yeah, carrying on from last night, we made some good progress last night. We we managed to go back in time and we've got access now to our air, like an airship again, which is allowing us to sort of like fly around the different areas now. So we don't have to rely on the boat which means we're not restricted and it's like easier to get from one side of the world map to the other. We don't have to like um, get on a boat, go through land, change time and then boat around, which is definitely um, a great help. So we've got two of the five Magilith pieces. I'm um, checking my notes. I think we've got the fire one from the pirates and we've just last night got the time one, um, which I had on my notes was from the Magilith in Windy Valley. Uh, obviously that took us back to the time of the Magi just after the Dark Ages last night. So we've still got the um, ice, nature, and the earth keys to get. And according to my notes, the ice is the Vikings. And I'm wondering if, obviously, we've got this little area going on here. I wonder if this is, like, to do with the Vikings over here. We'll um, jump into this area in a moment. This is where we, like, left off after last time. We've got um, nature, which is the southwest island. I think that's where we need to find um, the... We need to find the tier from Fina's family. So we still need to find Fina's family to go back to her time. I can't remember which was her time, but we need to go back to that. And then um, the Earth part, we've got the Demon's Temple, which I'm not really sure um, where that's going to come from or where that is, actually. But um, we will definitely um, take a look at that. And uh, But first of all, we're going to investigate this sort of like iron... Uh, this iron? I'm not iron, it's ice area. We're going to investigate this ice area first. I'm saying iron because iron smeltery has turned up in the chat. What is going on? Iron, I hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Hello to you too. All right, so without further ado, let's jump into the frozen cavern and see if we can have any clues maybe here about um, where our ice part might be. We have uh, a Magilith and we have the ability to Freeze something here. Ah, uh, thank you. Not forget how to open a chest. We got some mana. I don't know what we can use mana for anymore. I think it's to forge better weapons, I think. Okay, so there's not really a lot else here other than this magic lift, so we're going to um, open it up. we got a We've got everyone see that we've got a poster check from iron we've got a hydrate from um atom what atom atom man i sound like a cockney we've got a poster check from atom all right atom how you doing atom atom let's get that sorted and of course iron with his customary um stretches in there as well also got a smiley face there from doctor's prime but for some reason doctor's messages your messages aren't coming up on the um I might need to restart my bot because um, Iron's message came up and then nobody else's did. So I apologise. I'll uh, restart the bot in a minute and see if that uh, sorts the issue. Welcome everybody. Hope you're all well. Yeah, you can see theirs, but literally I've got your first message on the bot, Iron, and then that's it. That is the only thing we've got that I can see. My chat has died a horrible death. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Okay. Can uh, somebody just type something in chat again? Because I put it full sc I put it full screen and then everything appeared. But it seems like in Windows mode, it didn't work. Somebody type something in the chat for me, please. Anything? All right, well. It's playing silly, silly guys. So I guess I just have to leave it in full screen. I'll resolve it. Thanks, Ian. All right. So we use the magic lift. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh, we got some. Uh, here's Vikings. Uh, he wants to play cards. We didn't play much cards last. We didn't play many cards last night. So let's start. Let's start off the stream right with a game of cards, shall we? I think we should. Can't beat a bit of cards. Both of those out if I can. I'm not going to be able to, though. Hmm. 
He'll die here. How are we all doing there, guy? Oh, it's not doing it again. Ah, type something again, Iron, please. Because now, weirdly, it was working in... Um, it was working in full screen. That's really bizarre, though. <laughs> Technical issues. I don't know. Uh, let me restart my bot because there's something really weird going on with my bot. And I don't know what it is. Hello, Doctress. I put the uh, chat in email only mode as a bit of like a fail safe for certain bits and pieces. Like, because um, things and stuff happen. All right, continue to type for a minute, guys. Yep, there we go. Yeah, I think. yeah, the chat was an email only mode. So basically, on the right setting. Um, basically, what happens, uh, or what's been happening, is. It's maybe not as bright. Um. There's some like weird things going on with Twitch at the minute and some different bits and pieces. So um, basically, that's rubbish, isn't it? Um, basically, I put my chat into email only mode because there's been some like people. Uh, I mean, I don't think I don't think like I'm the sort of streamer that would get affected by it, I, but you never know. Um, when pe people aren't streaming. Um, people have been going to their chat and like filling their chat with like hateful messages and racist stuff and twitch's policy says that you you are responsible for your channel and what content is posted on your channel at all times even when you're not live so just as a sort of fail safe i started to put my um chat into email only mode so that obviously no messages can be uh, shown or anything on uh when, or no messages can be sent when I'm not online. Um, so yeah, that's basically why I said email only. I just basically forgot. So um, uh, yeah, Mika, what's going on? Hope you're well. Don't worry, if you can't be here long, it's all good. It's all good. Um, did I get, did you get my Steam message? Uh, uh, probably not. Does that help? Uh, I got some message. Yeah, I've not read it yet, though. Is that what you sent me about the um, stream being in emote-only mode, Atom? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Doesn't help because I've got Do Not Disturb on. <laughs> uh, anyway, all right. Let's um, let's let's play some cards. Um, Let's play some cards. Big damage. Okay, I pretty much won. Um, because I'll inflict nine damage there. That'll make ten. So I should automatically win here. Yeah, your messages are fine now, uh, Doctress. Very well played. Can you teach me to play like this? There, you deserve this card. Big vicious troll. Oh, it connects to the third of the cards. How did you end up here? 
I am Olaf, the last vo the last Viking. My people were lost when the ocean swallowed up our village. What did we do to anger the great turtle so? The great turtle. Ah. Uh, right. Can Minos clear the path for us? Nope, we are stuck here. Alright, so I guess we're going to go back again. Was it just the ones that, um, the emote ones? Yeah, that's weird. Oh wow, there's like a whole village here now. It's crazy. We don't often see outsiders here. Did you come via the undersea tunnel? You don't look very trolly. Undersea tunnel, eh? You can't become a Viking warrior until you complete your training, and we only sell weapons to true warriors. Alright, so I guess I've got some Viking training to do. That should be interesting. We Vikings are born to fight and conquer. Our children train right from the cradle to become great warriors. Only those who prove bravery to the Great Turtle will acquire infinite lives. The Great Turtle. I oversee the ongoing tunnel construction. We have to watch out for potential cave-ins. Would cost us years of work. Yeah, possibly iron. I guess changing the chat mode. But then it shouldn't really get rid of it, the, the chat, I don't think. Very weird. Very weird indeed. I guess um, I guess because you're a VIP iron, maybe that's why it like was bypassing it for me. That's sort of weird. Oh, you was the biggest troll on Trapper's Delight. <laughs> he was the big troll. Some heretics once tried to say that the Great Turtle didn't carry the world on her back, but instead lived at the bottom of the sea. Ah ha ha ha! At the bottom of the sea, with the fishes. We killed them all. The gods allowed it, so we must have done the right thing. Hmm. Not sure that's the right approach. Here you go, going to mod of the game. Yeah. I think that's what was happening in my only mode, Mika. At dawn of time, our entire land was submerged, but the god Meiji created the ice beneath our feet on which to run, and he created the great turtle to guide us. Our boss is getting ready for the annual tournament. You can face him in battle once you've won enough matches. To sign up, go to the counter. Okay, let's see what everyone else got to say first. The annual Great Warrior Tournament is starting soon. Only those who finish their training are eligible. This year, the winner gets some remarkable ancient artifact. Okay, so we need to win the tournament. We found it while digging out the Great Undersea Tunnel. Was Balin, son of F Fundin, son of Farin, son of Borin, who <laughs> started digging the tunnel? <laughs> are they all like, are they all um, drill and tunnel references? Visionary that he was, he knew that the Great Turtle would see our true valor if we slaughtered everyone on the con on the continent. Without the Great Tunnel, we'd have no other way. There, the icy mountains are impassable. So maybe like a fishing rod? I guess so. You don't look very Viking y. Solid snail! Here? What a small world! After your spectacular escape from the Colosseum, I was fired. I must admit I suffered a brief bout of depression, but I must also thank you. Because of you, I finally found my way in life. I decided to explore the world and bring back the tale of my travels to the Imperial Library. It will be my life's work. Largo, Le Grand's Travel. All right, well, glad I was uh, an inspiration of some sort. After generations spent training body and mind, our people is finally ready. We've already completed the first stage of the undersea tunnel. Soon we'll reach the continent, where we will invade, pillage, and massacre to our heart's content. Sounds... 
good. Hello, have you come to sign up for the annual Viking tournament? I'm sorry, registration is only for those who've completed their training. Alright, so how do I complete my training? Do I speak to you? My son only just finished his training. About time he beat those cave trolls. He's already six for crying out loud. He'll have to train overtime to become a great warrior and obtain infinite lives. We worship the Great Turtle. She is vast and carries the whole world on her back. With her blue-gray shell and bright orange eyes, she can find you wherever you are. You want to go through the tunnel? You'll need to get approval from the Chief Engineer. He should be home around now. Are you the Chief Engineer? I'll take what's ever in your chest, though. So much mana. Our boss is getting ready for the Daniel tournament. Okay. So where is... Where's the dude? Where is the dude and where is his house? Yeah. Oh no, any Wikings can cross it, but if you two wish to prove that you're valid to the Great Turtle, who am I to stop you? You have my permission. Go defeat the trolls and maybe you can register for our annual tournament in time. Alright. Okay. You immortalize my blunder in the Pix channel on Discord. I hate to see it. What am I? Just some sort of Am I just some sort of amusement for you, Iron? How dare you? Here for your entertainment. It's still closed for now. Because of stuff that's happened in the past, I'm just like a little bit. I don't want to go that way yet. Um, I'm still like a little bit hesitant to like go back to like public, having it public again. Oh, what is that? I could make it happy to give themselves a good thing. Your presence is more than money. I have learned many life lessons from Oscar community. And those lessons are better than money. Well, thanks, Mika. We all appreciate you being here, buddy. And uh, crazy, what is going on? Welcome, welcome. With the four month resub, my man. Thank you very much. It's uh, greatly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Things are brutal. I really need to. Um, I really need to update my badges. I think. Should maybe try and um, commission some airboats or something for uh, subscriber badges. Some like different airboats, depending on how many months you've been subscribed. That'd be pretty cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh-oh. Not only are we being shamed by pictures, we're also being shamed by clips, Doctress. <laughs> oh, the, yeah, well, you probably missed it. The clips only work for, like, the last two minutes, I think, don't they? You'd have had to have done it in, like, the last... Within two minutes of it being a thing. Unless you can go back on the VOD, maybe. Man, there's got to be an easy way to deal with these guys. That's just horrific. Have I got some... A red potion. Yeah, you can clip it after that, or you can... Um... If you can clip it from the uh, video, you can actually go to the video's page and clip it from there as well. You'll be able to do that now. That's one way to maybe deal with this. spot. Wait for the ability to recharge and then we'll go in uh, afterwards again. Oh. Still have interest. Anybody, uh, has anybody used yet the um, ever used the clip feature on YouTube yet? I know not all channels have got clips enabled, but I didn't know if uh, like anybody had was using it or had used it. There's a lot of hearts here. That makes me nervous. I will. I am definitely. I will let you know. Um, Somebody's hit, you've hit by mistake and you've done it a couple of times. Is it, um, does it work? Does it work like the, the Twitch one, Doctress, or? I have heard of this place, if I'm not mistaken. These are the caverns of the Nor Noria. Nor Noria? The caverns of Noria? Yes. The caverns of Noria. You hear that, Velvet? The caverns of Noria. What are the caverns? <laughs> they are age-old mines. In times past, the shroom people of Fungus Land established a nudist summer, summer camp there. Indeed, the low temperature and high humidity levels are ideal conditions for fungal beings. But they delve too greedily and too deep and awoke that which should never have been awoken, disturbed. The big vicious troll. He and his troll minions overran the caves, and I shouldn't like to tell you what became of the shroom people. But ever since, rarely has a soul ventured into these caverns beyond a handful of foolhardy explorers. Foolhardy explorers. Let's speak. I would have liked to avoid taking this path. Be on your guard, everyone. Only, ch only channels with over 1,000 subscribers or more and that are making money from YouTube can make clips on those sorts of channels. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, th I think it's the clips thing, like all to do with, and, like all part of like the shorts thing. New to summer clamp, nothing wrong with that. I don't even, I don't even know if it's a. I don't, I've not checked any of my videos. I don't even know if I've got it on mine. Uh, I've not seen any options or anything um, to turn it on or off or heard of any options. So, um, 
I said a summer clamp. A nudist summer clamp. Yikes. You wouldn't let them capture me, right, Karen? I, I'm not afraid. Caves filled with trolls. That's one of my favorite hangout spots. I bet. I don't know if you have to turn it on or not, um, to be honest. here, right? Level up! We're at level 23. I've decided I don't like these red things. Just saying. They can jump. Oh, hello, spider. Coming to play? They remind me of the, um, definitely the spiders in Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Gotta go. You have relatives here. Just want to say uh, hello. Keep your stream, st stream streak on. No worries, Mika. Um, that what you was uh, prepping the sauna for last week. Uh, enjoy family time, buddy. Uh, you still here? You searching for that? You searching for the Cockney bit? Right at the start. Have a good weekend, though, Mika. Catch you on the other side, buddy. Yeah, the, uh, the schools that I'm thinking of from the Ocarina of Time, you used to have to find so many of them. Why was I, like, needed to like, go into, like, swim mode there? I wasn't even, like, anywhere near like, being submer submersed in the water. It's kind of a little weird. Bit of mistake there, I don't wanna. Uh, Clip feature is there on my videos. So what what happens? I mean I, I'm I don't know, I'm I'm not very educated on the whole clips thing. What happens when you create a clip on my channel and does it does it like get created on your? Is that like a short on your video on your channel, or does it then become a short on my channel? What's this guy? What are these guys doing? Right, I have to turn them from behind. You don't know? Okay. Looks like the bridge was destroyed. I believe it is possible to pass underneath it. Look at that pretty creature. Trolls and bridges, right? The uh, cliche. Eek! The trolls found me! Stay alert. They are, they are hiding and they are very fast. Oh, she's pretty with her coarse skin and lovely complexion. I just know the chief will like her. Kura, I beg you, don't let them take me alive. What I really like about her are those big muscles. What delightful curves. <laughs> that voice made you laugh out loud.
I knew all the I knew all those hours at the gym had paid off. Come on, let's grab her. Careful, Miss Fina. They there there they are. Oh. They wanted up oh, uh what? <laughs> hey, come back! They wanted Minos, not Fina. I'm the pretty creature. Uh I meant Quick girl, let's go help Minos. I can't bear to think what the big vicious troll is gonna do to him. Yeah, I think it was um I'll be honest, I think it was a bit oh, way. I think it was a bit too obvious that it was gonna be Fina. I was expecting it to be Kura, if I'm honest. for that. Like um, Jason's from Friday the Thirteenth. You're off now, crazy. No worries. Have a good weekend, buddy. Catch you next time. Wait! You're going up? So am I! Uh, awkward. Have a nice day! Buy a red goo thing. Uh, sort of works, doesn't it? Also, how did I get so much money all of a sudden? I spent all my money in like the last episode, and now I've got like nearly five thousand, whatever the currency is. Oh. 
That would have been handy to know. If I hold down on those platforms, I can actually go down. I didn't know that before. those experience points. Before I should have um, killed them and dropped them into the, uh, into the spikes last time. How does he get to do that? I'm sorry. I, I call hacks. Also, how does his friend not get hurt here? Wait, where's the realism? Troll death by lava? Is that what we're going for there? We can't get that one until we got meanness back then, I guess. How was I not dead? How did I not die? Beyond me. I'm starting to worry about Minus. 
Oh, oh my pet, your bulging muscles make me tremble. Release me, I am not your pet. This is Donkey Kong, isn't it? This is Donkey Kong. Oh, some people came and stole my pet, but they'll never reach me. It would seem Minos needs our help. Oh, my pet, your friends care for you so. But so do I. No one can tear us apart. Oh, my. How do I even attack this guy? We did it! And we freed Minus! Thank goodness for potions. Thank you. All of you. I... I know not what I would have done without you. What are you talking about, Minus? You would have done exactly the same for Kuro, Velvet, or me, right? I'm so glad we saved you from that vicious troll. With his mask and his club. <laughs> There's no telling what he would have done to you if we hadn't have stopped him, except him. I would rather not discuss it anymore. Say no more. I've already forgotten the whole thing. Kuro, we should be able to use the ladder to get out of the caverns. I believe we can consider this training completed. Great. We'll be able to take part in the tournament. You mean, I'll be able to take part in the tournament. There's no we in this team. It's all me, me, me. Please don't say all these things have come back to life though. That would be rather annoying. And I guess they have. mean us to uh, deal with these guys.
What was in the other direction, I wonder? There's something weird looking, that's for sure. I thought this was like I thought this was like the boss fight over here. I can tell that this ice around us will soon disappear. Then once again will I be lost beneath the tides. Until I awaken anew. You who seeks the sacred power of ice. I see you are wide awake. But did you bring me what I asked for? No. That is not it. What did you ask for? Did I miss, like, something there? Like, what they're actually after? Alright, so now we can register. Hello, have you come to sign up for the annual Viking tournament? Do you want to know the tournament rules? What do you wish to know? The tournament is broken up into single combat duels. You have to defeat each of the six warriors before moving on to the boss battle. Whoever beats the boss first wins the prize. This year's prize is an ancient thingamabob we found while digging the tunnel. What do you wish to know? During a duel, you must align sacred gems to build up energy. This accumulated energy will then allow you to perform special attacks. Seeing as you're still a beginner, you may seek help from your friends for special attacks. After your turn ends, your opponent gets a go. To be defeated, he must lose all his life. Remember, only the true warriors chosen by the Great Turtle can acquire infinite lives. Okay. If you line up at least four sacred gems, you can play it again straight away. Wait, is this like a... Um, this is like a... Um, Connect Four sort of Tetris slash Dr. Mario sort of thing? Oh, that's the signal. The tournament has begun. Good luck and stay strong out there. Are you prepared to duel? Yo, Flame Tusk, what's going on? How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, okay. Extra turn, okay. So we've got that and that. Um... Oh, you're covering from when you had COVID. Damn. Sorry to hear that, buddy. I just have a lot of free time on your hands lately as well. Free time. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, Alright, so... I think we can make four anywhere. A couple of threes that can be made. I've hardly hit this guy at all. Destroys line, deals 6 damage, and heals 5 HP per gem. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. So let's pop in while I wait for, your, for the party. 
Oh, how are you doing with the Final Fantasy XIV? You're still uh, finding plenty to do on it then. I'm quite confused as to what like I'm meant to be doing on this. I'll be perfectly honest. Oh, there we go. That was pretty good. Um. Nice. I guess I can't use that. Is that him that gets to use that? Um. Does anybody kind of like understand what's going on here? Because I'll be honest, I kind of a I'm a bit of a loss here, and I'm getting my ass handed to me. So, I don't really know what the freezing thing did. So, I okay, what, what I'm taking from this at the minute is I, once I've got enough gems, I can then use my special abilities. So, I should be looking like down the left-hand side to my party to use their special abilities to inflict extra damage on this guy here. So, straight away, I see this is going to be a pretty good move, right? That gives me an extra turn. And all right, so swords allow me to attack. That's good to know. some reds for Minus. not sure flame tusk if i'm honest i'm not sure how i free them Uh -oh. 
Um, why do you get so many turns? I don't know how to use like the special abilities like to get my party involved here. That's what I'm a little bit confused about. Oh, that was a beastly move. Alright, so now... I think I win. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how I won, but I won. Oh, this guy's got so many health. Can't make squares, have to make lines. You make four though, you get your extra turn. Um, so it's a victory to your favorite, what way you don't know what you've done to earn it. So I guess the freezing just means he can't use his abilities for a turn. It doesn't actually freeze him and stop him from having a turn. Okay. Sandstorm. Let me invite Darude. Got like a tornado to use, which I don't like the looks of. Earthquake. Got to, we got a heal and we got a double attack. It's quite nice. Um, oh. You've been waiting for an hour. Do you have like a regular do you have like a regular party that you play with then Flame Tusk most of the time? And none of the um Oh, we almost got it. None of the uh, things are like 
falling in line or anything. Alright, we win. Not for high end content. Alright, this guy should be pretty easy. He's got a low HP. say I still really fully understand what's going on here but I'm getting the gist I've got the gist of it used to be then disbanded after you kept needing to find new people because they were leaving oh uh, yeah they're leaving just because kind of like they um, they like fell out of love with the game or they find like other groups and stuff. I never really played a, an MMO, MMO before, so I don't like really know how everything works with it. If I'm honest, all right, no worries. Good luck. No weird attempts. Just about one though, so. I'm hoping to make it halfway through the fight. Is that because it's difficult or just a long fight? longest fight in the game well if the um, if like the super fights and the boss like the big like extra fights on Final Fantasy 14 or anything like that like the mainstream franchise then I know what like the super bosses are like and uh, yeah good luck man like appearing at all here. It's like, there we go. It says that, and then one appears right in front of my eyes. And another one. And another one.
Double healing potions? What the hell? I call cheats. Um, all right, we've got it, we've almost got it. I could have used any of my characters there. 10 damage and freezes for a turn. Yeah. If we can use the swords, we win, I think. Yes, we win. Right, so that's where the boss is. It's got a lot of health. So I just saw on that one, when I was reading like the Meteor, it deals extra damage, deals uh, three extra, plus three extra per red gem. So I didn't notice that before. Turn freezes for a turn. He's got his special attack coming up though, which is a bit yikes. I don't think I have a way to attack at all here. Oh, he's not using his special. Okay. He's off his special again. Nothing's like aligning, which is frustrating. go all right yeah from around uh, flame to test the stream I'll definitely um, I'll definitely take a look no worries but uh, like I say good luck good luck with the fireman I 
managing to get ourselves through this one. Six damage plus heals five per green gem. Okay, again, didn't see that before. That so should heal four fifteen. Yeah. Oh boy. on the ropes. We did it! Alright, now we just got to beat the Elder. Can we do extra battles? Looks like we can. Quite worrying that I feel like I could sit here for like a long amount of time playing this game. It's a bit like cards. I could sit here all stream and play cards. Uh, to answer your other question, uh, Flame Tusk, as well, um, it appears like if you make a if you make a match um, next to a frozen block, then it becomes unfrozen. I know that you asked earlier on how the uh, blocks become unfrozen. I believe that's how they do. Oh. You keep using that uh, ability. Doctors, don't worry about it. It's all good. And he is wrecking me with these abilities. fly. Got time for you. Alright, where are we going to go next? Oh, 
Alright, we're doing a bit better this time. Don't turn my greens at the bottom. No! Everybody in this village. Um, Dead? What? Already? He's a bit cocky. I don't like his attitude. I knew you wouldn't get very far. Take that. Take that. Specials.
That was massive. There we go. That's the stuff. He's probably like the last guy in the village. Notice with like the computer, they very rarely kind of go for the sword attacks. They're very much it seems like a lot of the time they're just gearing up for the specials. Which is interesting. Good. Dead, I think. Come back, Doctress. I can do a four here to freeze him. Too late. Oh no. Thanks for the hydrate, Doctress. What I needed. Can I win? All right, he doesn't have a special. Whew, that was close. That was down to the wire. That was really close. and armor. Uh, looks like all that stuff's already been equipped. might be done. We need to the beat. We only needed to beat um, a six, but we got kind of waylaid and sidetracked and we beat nine. I don't think there are any more to take on. What? You actually beat all those warriors? In the name of the great turtle, you can challenge our boss. Um, your boss is a snowman. Not a soul. 
Do you think it could be a trap? No. At least I don't think so. In spite of their slightly crude ways, the Vikings don't seem to have a fairly strong sense of honour. I can't imagine they would set a trap for us. I think you're right, Velvet. From what I gathered, they have to fight with bravery and valour to get internal life. I'm afraid of what will happen to the mainlanders if Vikings complete their tunnel and launch an attack on the Empire. I would say there is little to fear in that regard. Oh? Why did you say that? Think about it, Fina. Nowhere in the history books are the Vikings ever mentioned, which would suggest they never made it to the continent. Ah, yes, I hadn't thought of that. But then, whatever happened to them? I have a theory. Of course, I don't have the proof of the subs uh, to substantiate it, so I need to locate the relevant documents and relics. But if I'm right, something's triggered a sudden melting of the frozen continent. And what prompted this assertion, Miss Velvet? I never told you how I retrieved my book. The one that allows me to use my ice power? Ah, yes. I admit, it has piqued my curiosity. Never have I seen it alike. It's super useful anyway. I'd love to get one for myself. It's called the Book of Bor Bore Bore Boreas? Boreas? One of the three legendary magi artifacts, along with the Stone of Time and the Magic Key. I stumbled upon it in the Great Library of Geneva while researching the Magi. I managed to, to translate part of it, which is why I can use some of its power. But there must be so much more to it. The Anarcha of Larco brought the book to the library after his southern expedition during the Great War. His account seems consistent. He must have found it in the, in the land of the Vikings. So, if I'm getting this right, your book leaving this place causes the ice to melt? That's one possibility. The melting of the frozen continent is a long process, but if it were to happen over several centuries, it could lead to rising sea levels. And the world would be covered in almost entirely in water, with only a few islands remaining. This would do little to change my people's future. But then, demons will be gone. I know you think this lengthy dialogue is boring and you wish you could skip, but we're discussing important stuff here, so stop snoring, will you? I don't think Solid Snail was the culprit, Miss Fina. The snowman! He's snoring! Huh? Who? What? Did somebody call him for me? And he talks? Who are you? All right, it's all coming back to me. I was meditating, focusing on the tournament ahead. <laughs> Reading and voices does mean my yawning. Focusing on the tournament ahead when I dozed off. You must be here for the duel. In that case, let's get on with it. Oh, but I haven't introduced myself. I'm the Viking Chief. You can call me Jon Snow. Get the reference. He doesn't look so tough, Kiro. Let's win ourselves that tournament prize. I really hope it's the magic key fragment. My father taught me to mistrust appearances. Watch yourself. No doubt this Jon Snow is more dangerous than he appears. A talking snowman? I'm dying to get a closer look at this new mystery. So, are you prepared to fight? We play cards, but... All right, man, 140. Holy cow. All right. Oh. Snowballs freeze people out. Hmm. Um... 
Seems like if he gets the snowballs, it gives him a boost. Winter has come. Had a single row of four yet? No worries, Doctress. Enjoy your weekend, buddy. Hopefully, catch you next time. thought Meteor would like damage the snowman even more, wouldn't you? Given that it's a fire based attack. So phase three of the fight. Well then he just got annihilated. Interesting. Got him. He's on the ropes. One more attack. Take my swords. Did it. Yay! We win. You are all truly great warriors. I, I can't remember what, what voice I did from now. Though not though not Vikings, you successfully won the tournament. Congratulations, here is your award. We got the Book of Boreas, an extraordinary ancient tomb that keeps its cool under pressure. Wait, this is the book that we were talking about, right? Another Book of Boreas. What is the meaning of this? It's a unique artifact. There can only be one copy. Yet it is possible. This is indeed the book that Miss Velva discovered in the, in the Imperial Library. There must be a version of it in that era. Your copy is the one from the future. Both are in fact one and the same. Old Minas, I'm impressed. I'm convinced you would have made a grand king for your people. 
Had the demons won the Great War. But what good's another copy of the same book? We need the fragment of ice and the magic key. And Caress told us we'd find it here. I don't know where the fragment is, but we must at all costs return this book to the Anarchist Largo. But why? I really like my own ice book. If we fail to return it to him, we will effectively alter history. I won't ever find the book in the library, nor will I visit the magic ruins on the Cursed Isle, and thus we will never meet. Consequences are unforeseeable. She is correct, Miss Fina. We must know we not take such a risk. I don't want you to disappear either, Velvet. I think we bumped into Largo in the Viking village. Let's go give the book and continue our search for the fragment of ice. Those foreigners make absolutely no sense. I don't understand a thing you said. You know nothing, Jon Snow. Wait, isn't that... I'm not a Games of Thrones person, but isn't that a lion from Games of Thrones? Games, games of, Game of Thrones, not Games of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Kura, I feel we've already altered the curse of history too much. <laughs> but I imagine it's nothing compared to what will happen once we use the magic key. Never have I met a human such as Velvet. She seems to make no distinction between humans and demons. For her, both are subjects worthy of study. Outsiders talk such strange things. I think we settled on a bit of like a Birmingham accent there. Solid snail! Here! Um... Right, give him the book. Yeah, we wanted to entrust this book to you. It's a very valuable tome from an ancient magic civilization. You absolutely must bring it to the Imperial Library in one piece. A book from the magic area? What an extraordinary rare find! I don't know how to thank you. Oh wait, here's something. I came across this odd stone in the frozen cavern. It certainly doesn't equal your book, but it's all I have to give in return. Way we got the fragment of ice. Sorry again that I have nothing better to trade for this book. I, I believe this will be more than enough. Well, I'm off to trot the globe again. Best of luck to y'all. So what is? Hold on. What does the, what does the creature in here want then? some dialogue from like this thing in here. And once again will I be lost beneath the tide until I awaken anew. You who seeks the sacred power of ice, I see you are wide awake. Did you bring me what I asked for? What did you ask for? Cross the um, we can cross the ice fragment off our list now. So we have two left. We have um, nature and we have the demons left. Uh, the nature, which is the southwest island, which we need the tier for, and then we have the demons, which is I believe in the top island.
Alright, well, let's um, leave the village, I guess. I said that we don't, we're not going to get to play that game again, though. I really got into that game. This is another reason why I've like fell in love with this game completely. All like the references of this game and all like the little bits and pieces that have been included are just absolutely phenomenal. From like the whole kind of like playing the cards and all the little mini games and all the references. Yeah. Well done. You had the fragment of ice. In the future, the frozen continent has almost disappeared. I hope that the Vikings will learn how to swim. I wouldn't like to feel responsible for their dis disparation. Would you, Kuro? Come and see me if you need more information on the fragments of Magic Key. Well, I would, but I made notes. Alright, so we still need to... So this is the forest. This is where the nature one is. Death is this. This time frame, I couldn't get out. So we've got to go back. We have got to go back to like the 3D version of ourselves for this part. Anyway, we can actually get out of here. If we go to what, the cursed aisle maybe? Aisle? I think we've been here. Is this like a chicken place? Uh oh. We angered the chickens. Hate to see it.
All right. Feel like I've killed my own here. What's in the chest? Oh, I can all. There's no in the chest. Our most precious treasure, D. Roberts. Need to see if we can find like Fina and go back to Fina's time. I don't think there's anything to do in the laboratory though, is there? Well, what do you know? We don't get many visitors around here. We're trying to escape the war, right? You got nothing to fear here. We're far from the mayhem. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. Oddly, he kind of reminds me of my dad. Of course! You are Finrod. Father to Finrost. You're my grandfather. The founder of Nib Nibiru, the village. You're a very sweet little lady, but I have no, no son. And I'm certainly too young to be your grandfather. It's true, I've decided to establish a village here, but I haven't settled in the name, on name yet. Now that you mention it, Nibiru is a lovely name. Yes, perhaps I should call it that. No, wait. Soon, a few years from now, you're going to meet someone, a Sif, and together you'll have a son who's my dad. Young man, I believe your friend has, here has banged her head. Listen to me. You have to believe me. It's going to happen. So I'm begging you. Ask the Sif to wait for us here in the year 1000. Wait. No, not here. Everything will have been destroyed. But by the weapon. On the bluff, where there's a statue of the Emperor after he's won. The war. You have to promise. Yes, yes, if it makes you happy, I promise. You ask me, young man, your friend could use some rest. Okay, Kira, I guess all that's left is to head out. Alright, so we're gonna go... We're gonna go ahead. In time, and then go to where there is... Statue. Okay. So, okay, let's go find a Magilith.
which obviously we do here. Now I think we need to go back to like the 3D version. But we'll check both of them just to be sure. me that like we have to set sail from this when we like land on an airship for a start it might make more sense if we could have like set sail from here as well but history is always written by the victors Grandma, Bina, you haven't changed a bit, my dear. But how? This is the first time we already met once when you came to the Sith Forest. Which is a long time ago. But I suppose for you it was only yesterday. But I don't even remember. We only spoke briefly. At that time, I was but a young Sith, among many others. But after seeing you humans with your boundless hopes and bubbling excitement, I wanted to explore the world for myself. So, I left the forest for good. Even though I knew my choice would mean a, sh a sh short-lived life. So that's how you met Finrod? Yes. My journey began with all the places I'd only heard of. The world is so beautiful and fragile. No day like the one before. I had never felt so free. Eventually, I met your grandfather, Finrod. He was quite shocked to meet a Sith. And I should know, I should say. Many years later, as his last bit of strength faded, he remembered promisingly a slight, promising a slightly mad girl that I would meet her here. I waited for you since that day. Oh, Grandma, I'm so sorry. All this time you were here, so close by. I regret nothing, Fina. True, my life was a short one, but I have felt more things in a few years than I did spending eternity in the forest. I am only sad to leave this world behind. Not having been able to hold you. Not having seen you grow up and be happy. Not being able to help you in your adventures. Oh, Grandma. But you do help me. Every time I use my power to aid Kuro, you're with me. Thank you. Thank you, my sweet Fina. Thank you, Granddaughter. Live each day like it's your last and treasure every moment, because time will pass you by. I leave this to you, a farewell gift. Is it the tear? Is it the tear we need? Grandma! Farewell. Yay! Okay, we got the... We got the tear. Death always makes you cry. Alright, now we can head back to the forest. Have you a Sife's tear? Be careful not to lose your way in the sacred grove as different eras merge there. Okay.
Huh. Okay, so... I guess we just gotta work out which one we gotta be in. Oh, the right moment. That was a yikes. Well, all right, so we can come straight down to the bottom. Fractionally too early. Man, I'm rubbish at timing. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh, this is reminiscent of the first one. Whereby, depending on the trees and things, they were grown at different stages. No. Well, we got out the thing, but the blob pushes into the path of the the draft or whatever you want to call it I, I don't know I, I'm missing something here because I want to freeze it actually I thought about that did I Oh, 
Alright. Alright, well, I think I just gotta work on the timing of bits and pieces here. And uh, then we should be able to uh, to do it. But I think that's probably going to be a good place as any to leave it for tonight. Thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. We've got another piece of the magic key. We've only got two left now. So, um, yeah, we're definitely making some good progress into this. And uh, who knows, maybe sort of like looking towards end game, sort of end, uh, by next week. So um, stay tuned um, and come back to see how we get on with that. But yeah, we're we'll back next week, guys, on Monday and Tuesday night. I think it is our schedule for next week for some more Evo Land 2. So uh, make sure you tune in for some more of the fun. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And uh, until next time, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe as always and happy gaming. Have a good weekend, guys. Bye bye.